Hey guys and welcome to Farm Simulator 2017 on Gwynther. I probably butchered the name but I don't care. So, any of you guys that were watching last time we streamed on this map, we've got the pig food mixer fully up and running. And it is making our beautiful pig feed. So, we've got 15,586 feed in the trailer. Oh, feed in the trailer. Feed in the, the building, I guess. And we've got about 5,000 litres in our trailer here. I did swap out trailers. I wanted something which wasn't as long as the uh, Richard Weston, so we went for this. And doesn't have the rear wheel steer, which screws me up so much. As much as I love them. It is a pain in the butt for me. And there is a mod that I forgot to put in on this, and that is the adult, uh, a joint toucher limiter thing. Put that on the... What you call it? Oakfield. Beautiful. Love it. We were on there yesterday for a live stream, I think. It was. The way these videos work out, yeah, it should be. Basically recording the day, day before. Right now, I'm not happy about it. I've really lost my mojo since coming back from camping. For as far as uh, getting stuff done. No, either this pig food weighs an absolute ton, or this tractor's not up to the job. I'm going to go and say the pig food weighs a lot. We've also got quite a few straw bales we actually need to get off the ground. We need a trailer as well uh, to pick them up. So we'll be blipping on the cheap money. We did have one in-game, but I got rid of that for... Well, I haven't got rid I don't know if I've got rid of it yet or just got rid of it. But we will end up picking those up. And the pigs are over there. We have already dropped them off. Alright, that right there would have. the steering would have helped. The yards on this map are fairly tight. Nothing crazy. But enough. I'm hoping this is the spot where you feed them. Yes, it is. Is that the whole trailer? Oh, well, it was. Okay, let's see how much that actually filled them by. Because we've only got six pigs, so they won't need a lot. And yeah, I basically, if I went any more than that, I don't think I would have been able to fit it all in. So that's awesome. They do need water. I believe we do have a water trailer down at the other yard, so we'll go and grab that. That trailer's leased. And the plan there was to basically sell some grain off, which... Let's see if we've got any grain to sell off, and we would be able to afford some more pigs. In total, to start off with, I'm going to build the herd up, if you call it, call a, uh, a gromlet of pigs a herd, but I'm going to, yeah, we haven't got any grain to sell anyway. I'm going to get another six, so that will equal uh, twelve. I switch that off there, and let's see where, if we have a water trailer and bale trailer situation. So we do have a water trailer, it is down at the other yard then. For sure we don't have a bale trailer, so what we will do is put on this and replace the one we did have. That is why I'm doing this, just want to make that clear. And we are going to go with... This uh, black, put that to that rim color. I yeah, will leave that stock uh, wood frame, edge strapping. Yes, scroll up and structure standard design universal auto load. 
Uh, mud guards? No. Underrun protection? Yes. Eh, yeah, nah. Keep it cheaper. Bye. Job done. Okay then. So, we've got that done. We'll switch off cheap money. Yes. And vehicle for that we can use because we were just in it, we'll use this. We also need to save up before we can put some uh, straw in there, but we don't have the straw blur. Uh, it's not exactly cheap neither. Unfortunately. I don't think you can put it in by hand neither. That would be awesome if you could. Ah, that's right, we finished that field off too. I need spraying down. So, how am I doing? Well, my throat is still sore. A, a, a little. It is getting better, I feel. I will find out after I've recorded this video, to be quite honest, if my throat is dead <laughs> after I know why. Uh, but uh, I, I do feel a little bit better. Which is obviously good. And there is our brand new trailer. Weird they didn't connect. This does have the animated hoses on this tractor, I believe. Interesting. Never mind. Oh, hang about. That hasn't got the edge in. Actually, you know what? Without the edge in on it, and it can be in a complete flatbed, that will probably help us more than anything. No, we'll rock that. We will rock that. Yay. Yeah. So, as of right now, no new mods yet on, on ModHub. I think there was seven in testing, or sort of middle of the week, and now, time me making this video, I think it's gone back up to 13 or something along those lines. So, a few more in testing. Is this the field? No, that isn't. Ah, that's right, that field was going to go for... Uh, Uh, straw as far as not straw well yeah straw and as far as selling it some of the bales we'll keep we're not going to have a whole lot of pigs so there's no sense keeping a lot of the bales right okay so auto load up well apparently it was already set up for us because we are using the standard baler on this map I was going to use the Heston but then I just fought against it might as well just keep it like this No, I can hear the cries. Why, why, why are you doing that? Why didn't you just stuck it yourself? Time. FS19 will be stuck in bales herself for a while. We were actually on TeamSpeak last night. Matt come on, Matt XGS, and we're having a really good conversation about FS19 and how we feel it's gonna affect the modern scene. And a lot of people I'm talking to share pretty much the same opinion. It's going to be interesting to see how many people stick around for FS19. It's the general consensus. It really is right now. And unfortunately, as I was saying to those guys last night, and doing this, doing YouTube, you see it. And anyone that creates content on any platform will see this. Today's generation is lazy. Lazy as all get out. So, they doesn't seem to be prepared to learn. Now, I'm not talking everybody. Some people out there are. But, we... Oh yeah, I forgot this updated. But, there are... Definitely a significant amount of people that just aren't prepared to learn. I want everything handed to them on a plate, is how I said it last night in TeamSpeak. And you see that in YouTube, where they just 
can't be asked to read the description where every single link is in there or stuff like that. And there definitely some people out there just they do, they want it handed to them on a plate. There's no other way of describing it better. And I think that hurts. Because as the game gets more complicated, you need to spend more time learning it. Then you could get the people that turn around to you and say, oh, well, they shouldn't be making it more complicated. The game's got to advance. This is 2018. They've got to advance in this day and age, otherwise they're going to be behind in there. Competitors are just going to walk all over them. And that's the way the gaming industry is. You've got to advance. You just gotta. Okay, so I think we need our telehandler up here, really. To unload a few of these, at least. Uh, where is the bale sell point, actually, on this map? We may just go sell them. Okay, yeah, let's go sell this lot. And then we'll go unload. Yeah, I'm not going to make that damn turn. Let's just dump it out of this lane way down here. Or oh, gateway here, even. There we go. Need to swap out the front weight on this. I hate this front weight. I really do not like it. What's wrong with the front weight, you may be asking. I don't know, I just don't like it. Probably because it's so old. It has been with us for a long time now. I usually get the SOB from weight for this. I may actually, as we're going to be down there, swap it out now myself. But I sort of, well, going back to the modern side of things, let me know your guys' opinion on that. What what do you guys think it will be for FS19? Let's start a conversation in the comments on this. It'll be interesting to see. And like I said, it's, there's been a lot of people that I've spoken to recently that are kind of worried for 19 and modding. And that's not to say, like, it's going to be gone and nobody's going to be modern and that's it, the game's over. Nah. I think it may just quieten down. I hope I'm wrong. And I think I've gone way past where I need to. Yeah, I have. I really do hope I'm wrong on this one because the mods drive the game. If, it, if there's no modders around... Yep, I feel sorry for Lizardan. Community manager's uh, giants. He's gonna have his hands full. <laughs> he really is. And then, ah, oh, this is a beautiful path. I didn't know this was here. Hello, photo opportunity. If I did ever see one, a diggity dag. Okay. Okay, you simmer down. Yes. I know this is a Welsh map, but simmer down. And... Yes. It took a while to get the photo I wanted, but there we go. God, what a view. That's what I love about maps. There's always hidden paths to go down. One thing I will say about this map, the Golden Nugget placement. I hate Golden Nuggets, so it's no biggie. They're everywhere. Okay, where is the cell point? See, there's one there. Golden Nugget. One there. And I believe there was one there. So three. I'm thinking the straw cell points are right here. That box feeder there. Oh, I hope you don't need to place them in there. Hang about. Let's go out of this beautiful area and. What's over here? Oh, I do hope you don't have to place them in there. Hmm. 
That would suck. Oh, what's over here? Oh, is this sheep? I bet it's a sheep. Probably. I may actually have get some sheep on this map. And uh, people were saying the other day, you gotta. It is Welsh. Fence post. If this doesn't take these bales, then I'm going to move the trigger. Oh, does this not have collisions? Did you do... Oh, you legend. Alan, you absolute legend. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look legit, but I can get behind that. Fair play to you. Not gonna lie, though, I am coming to tempted to move the trigger there, but well, you guys know me. It's probably not gonna happen. All right, gate is on an automatic swing back. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that would have been a bit rough. Where are the chickens in? There's the egg cell point. Where are the chickens? Not that I give a crap. Oh, okay, they're done by the main yard. How the hell have I missed them? And we are away. Beacon light off. Ah, you have to have your beacon light on. You're on the road. Private road. Mm. What you say about that then? already got 6.5 hours on this tractor. I'll tell you what, if they do have a John Deere 7530 in 19, you better watch out. I'm telling you, you better watch out. I'll be using the crap out of that tractor. It's funny, you see on the live streams and whatnot, people saying, oh, yeah, all everyone's going to be using is John Deere. Wow, what's the difference now? And people like tractors, for whatever they are, whether you think they're overrated, whatever the hell you think, people like the things they like. Whether you like John Deere, you like Case, you like New Holland, Voltra, Fen, whatever company you prefer, if you like that company more, you're going to tend to use that tractor more. And at the end of the day, when it is in a game, no matter what your opinion of it is in real life, it doesn't mean squat. Because in the game, it's never going to break down. It's always going to work. It's never going to have issues. What's the deal? It's kind of funny. Alright. Eight bales there. Uh. Eight bales. Well, no. Try 16. Uh, so, uh, that'll be perfect for... The yard. Stack those up, and as I'm talking, I can feel my throat getting a little sore, a little bit sore. What we may do is use the. I have to have a ganders, but the skid steer. We've got the skid steer in the yard. I, I left it here because I never use them. I very rarely use it as sort of just around the yard, and especially as it's already in the game. So I may end up chucking a. A uh, bale fork on it, if we can. Now, I, I like using the curve up. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if we ha own the curve up, to be quite honest. But if it can get put on, if it can basically go on the skid steer, I'll be laughing. So, add a bale spike. We'll buy it. Oh, actually, do we own one? Before I go all that way, and oh, I do. All loader, uh, front loader, telehandler, wheel loader, skid steer. Holy crap! Oh, that's the thing I miss about black sheep. Quality stuff, absolutely quality. All right, what we'll do? 
because I believe it's probably going to be on the telehandler. Hope you can find the damn telehandler. Where are you? There you are. I don't know why I moved it down this yard in the first place. So I'll just drive this. No, teleport it down. Uh, we'll throw that in field nine. Cause field nine is done. To be quite honest, I don't think I need this piece of equipment. The t uh, the loader. Although it fits the theme of the map, I don't think I really need it, so... I'll keep it for now, but we'll see. Then the skids do will actually do me better. Then the uh, loader. And what we'll do is just... Actually, this may be able to go over here in that shed. Throw it away in here. And to be quite honest, we'll probably forget about it, but... Give it a clean. Shut it down there. Jump into this. I kind of hope they've adjusted the controls for the skid steers so they're a bit more responsive. It definitely seems anything that's got tracks on it or stuff like that, there is a delay of the way it works. And you can end up oversteering a hell of a lot. Which is why I'll probably end up getting wound up with it and saying, yep, screw this, we're going back to the loader. Now, more importantly, where the hell am I going to keep these bales? Hmm. Maybe in just one of these stools, to be quite honest. How long have we been recording? 22 minutes. Up. Boop, boop, boop. Not really? Come on now. I'm looking at that one. Yeah. Thank you. And that, that, and that. Now, can this handle all of the bales? I don't know. They are just straw, so. And some of you guys in the stream are saying straw bales right now. I'm guessing you were from the UK. £80 a bale. I damn near fell off my chair when I heard that. When you when people go, no, yeah, it is. That's insane. Mm, can we get in there without causing issues? We can. Mm, let's try something. The view right now would be non-existent. Yes! That's probably called it caused the loop script error. Oh no, it didn't work. That's a surprise. Is that it? Is that them full? Beautiful! Well, in that case... That's awesome. We can just throw these here. Couple of bales there. Uh, can, actually, can we get in that end down there? No, we can't. It's accessible to the pigs. Never mind. You guys can probably see what I was going to do. So this is where the telehandler would come into its own because I could just reach across. Yeah, that would be semi-legit. You could probably get away with doing that. You know what I need to swap out? I need to put Ian's... Hey, yep. Ian's uh, skid steering. Where am I going? You fool. I'm going to put the bales over there. I 
wonder if you really see too many of the skid steers on UK farms. And you guys let me know in the comments down below. I'm guessing you probably don't. And it's definitely something you'd see in the States a lot more. Skid steers on farms. I'd probably just have the good old loadal. For this being such a small map, having a skid steer is a real good option. Bales tend to get caught on the edge strap in there. Good for stacking them because you can kind of keep them in line a bit more. So if a singular bale is good for six, I imagine two bales is good for uh, twelve. And how long have we got? Oh, we've got a bit. We'll probably be able to get some more. I think it's about nine grand for the pigs. There are six of them. That's one thing I don't like the edge strapping for because it makes the bales ping a little. Which obviously, uh, what they're really doing here, I don't know. Perfect. I imagine that's what these stools are for, to be quite honest. Just bells and crap like that. But if I can use this to muck the animals out, perfect. Now I think, I'm hoping the pig's manure will just get thrown right into here. And you won't need to muck them out. As much as I don't mind mucking the animals out in the game, it does become a nuisance. Especially the way it's not really supposed to work like that. That worked well. That's uh, cool. I like that for small farms. Definitely recommend it. Okay, easy. Easy. Well, and that's not actually locked. That's probably why it was like, handling a bit weird. Okay, so that is that. Uh, we'll pull forward over here. No, we didn't get to harvest, but we'll probably end up doing that in a uh, live stream, to be quite honest with you. Now, water. We are really basically looking after the pigs today. Uh, real cool water tank here. Apparently there's wheat growing there. I don't know if it has the animated hoses. If there is animated hoses on this, I believe this does the slurry. If that does, then I wouldn't mind getting a, quite a bit of that. So... We will drop this off, run down and grab some water from the other yard. Uh, that is down by 20, field 22. That's where the water tanker is. Why it's down there, I don't know. Um, because we're just doing the pigs, I don't want a whole lot of equipment up on that yard. It may cause issues, but I can see, I really can see us having to use the BGA to spread some of the equipment out. That being said, I don't have a ton of equipment on this map in the great scheme of things. As I'm having a sip of nice cold coffee. Mm -mm -mm. This is one map when it's this small. Doesn't I don't actually mind it not having traffic. I wish it did. Don't get me wrong. I wish all maps have traffic. But it's got a nice feel to it because it's such a small, beautiful scenic map. Right now, this is probably up there in my list of top maps that I've played on. It really is. Yeah, that's, that's not our field. It's probably got missions on actually that one. Makes me sad seeing that field. As soon as I can buy that field, I will just get rid of the withered ground crop. If I could sell it again, I probably would just plow it under the quad to be done with it. And yeah, we've got our low loader trailer. And a water trailer just there. Low loader trailer I'm keeping down here. 
Because, let's face it, I'm probably never going to use it. Beautiful dairy yard down here, though. If you want to do... Move this into, sort of, your main yard, I would totally do it. It's way much bigger. Way much bigger? Wow, that English. But, yeah, you just look at the buildings you've got in here. You've got a workshop. Uh, you've got the mower. Actually, I need to get rid of that. The round baler. Another... Ooh, another straw style point. That's not marked on the map, is it? No, it's not. Oh, oh there's another one over here, ring feeder. Uh, I'm guessing... I don't know. But it is a beautiful laid out yard and it's a good size. What's that over there? Oh yeah, it's uh, different areas for grain storage. I always forget about this building. It's almost like a grain dryer building. Again, pretty cool. Could go horribly wrong if the uh, triggers are a little messed up though. But again, we may get into a small herd of dairy at some point. Depends how long I play this map for. If it's going to stick around on the channel for as long as I think it may, to be quite honest, eh, we could probably get into doing some dairy. I think we really can. Ah, crap. With Matt on TeamSpeak last night, I could have asked him about the uh, TW, uh, TW, the Massey, and uh, front weight setup for it, if we can even put front weights on it. That'd be nice. Yeah, I think we will definitely be wrapping up the video with getting la water the pigs, and then the pigs will be 100% set up, which is awesome. Kind of enjoy getting the pigs and the maps and doing that side of the animal tree than anything. I guess, well, it's different, it's new as far as the game goes. The dairy is very profitable, and I think if you had a good amount of pigs, it would probably be profitable as well. But the dairy is a hell of a lot of work. And I'm having fun running a massive dairy on Lone Oak. Kind of wish I did it on Oakfield, to be quite honest with you. There again, Lone Oak is a massive dairy farm IRL. Actually, we need to fill this. Where do we fill the water? Oh, right there. There we go. Big water sign that you pass every damn time. That would take so long to fill IRL. Now, like that uh, little ford that we went through to sell the straw there, I'll probably take it down there to fill it up. But that's the thing. I imagine... And I don't know this. This trailer IRL, I may actually look it up one day. You would expect a pump to be on it, wouldn't you? Unless it is literally just, and that's because of the angle of it, it's literally a gravity feed, maybe. It literally could be it. It's just a gravity feed trailer. You pump the water in, and you transport the water, and you pump it out. Maybe that's all it is. Now, i got a hunch that they are not going to use all of this water. Just being six pigs. So right there, you can see the float going up. Which has stopped. Really, is that empty? No. I was gonna say. That's enough? <laughs> How much water was that? Oh wow, not even a thousand litres. <laughs> Dang. So, I'm going to bid you guys farewell. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It was a good one, actually. I enjoyed this. Definitely doing some different stuff for a change. Especially with the skid steer and a beautiful scenic spot that we found. That's nice. I enjoyed it. So I hope you guys did as well. And like I say, with the stuff that we were talking about in the comments down below, or well, the comments down below, in the uh, video, let me know down in your thoughts on it. Because it's interesting hearing everyone's thoughts and seeing how similar some people's thoughts are on that topic. So, till next time, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. See ya.